Hey guys, so how'd you like that flocabulary video about bar graphs? Flocabulary is one of my favorites. They're just kind of funny, but it was a good reminder of all of the important things we need to know about a bar graph. So let's work together to answer the questions about this bar graph. Each child in Newt class selected two planets that they would like to visit. And you can see we have part of a bar graph and we have part of a table. And the first thing we're asked to do is fill in the missing data for Mercury and Neptune. The votes for Mercury and Neptune are not recorded in our table, but they each have a bar in our bar graph, so we're able to pull that information from the bar graph. How many votes did Mercury get? Mercury got eight votes. Now let's look at Neptune. Neptune isn't as straightforward. It doesn't touch the six bar and it doesn't touch the eight bar. You can see we have to be careful and pay close attention to our scale because this graph, the scale does not count by ones, it counts by twos. So when we look at it, we can see that if something is between six and eight, it must have seven votes. So Neptune has seven votes. Now we've done that one, and we're asked to draw the bar for Jupiter. And we can look at our table and see that we have 11 votes for Jupiter. But again, when I look at my scale over here, there's no 11. There's a 10 and there's a 12. So I know that my bar for Jupiter has to be between the 10 and the 12. It's not gonna touch the 10 and it's not gonna touch the 12. It's going to be between them. So I'm gonna draw in my bar and I'm gonna stop between 11 and 12. And I'm just gonna fill my bar in. Last, we're asked to do a little bit of a comparison. And we need to think about what this question is asking us. Check that one off. True or false? Saturn got more votes than the three least popular planets combined. Hmm. Well, how many votes did Saturn get? Saturn got 14 votes. It got a lot of votes. It was the most popular answer. So Saturn, we know, got 14 votes. What does it mean to have the least popular planets? What does it mean when we're asked to look at the three least popular planets? Well, to be the least popular, it means the three with the lowest number of votes. So let's look at our chart. Mars, we can see, is the lowest, and it only has three votes. I can also see Venus has six votes, and then we gathered the information about Neptune. Neptune had seven votes. I'm asked to combine these three and then compare it to Saturn. So I can see that if I'm going to combine them, I need to add six plus three plus seven. And I like to look for doubles or tens when I'm adding numbers, and I see a 10 here. Seven plus three is 10. I can easily add 10 plus six, and I know that the three least popular planets combined got 16 votes. Now let's see if we can figure out this true or false question that we have here. Saturn got more votes than the three least popular planets combined. So now let's see how we could replace some of these words with the numbers that we have to see if that's a true statement or a false statement. What if we said, instead of Saturn, what if we said 14? And what if we said, instead of three least popular planets combined, what if we said 16? And then what if we reread it? 14 is more votes than 16. Is that true or false? Well, 14 is not more than 16, so that is false. Great job working with me today on bar graphs.